did the Philippines got its name? The Philippines got its, got its name from King Philip II of Spain. That's why, that's why it's called Philippines. Philip. Ganito sinimula ni Sir Tom Rodriguez ang kwentuhan sa mga kabataan sa naganap na pagtitipon-tipon nitong Disyembre sa mismong tahanan ni Sir Frank De Leon sa Goodyear, Arizona. Ferdinand Magellan was a Portuguese. He wanted to navigate the world. But he didn't have the money. So what did he do? He approached King Philip II of Spain. So, King Philip II of Spain then helped him go around the world. And his, in his voyage, he landed in Cebu, in the Philippines. Unfortunately, he was killed by a hero, Napolabo. Ang naging paksa ng gabi ay ang tinatawag nilang Kaparis. Kabataang pangarap ni Rizal. Ipinaliwanag at ipinakilala dito sa mga kabataan ang naging kontribisyon ni Dr. Jose Rizal sa kasaysayan ng Pilipinas. The Knights of Rizal was created by an act of Philippine Congress, Republica 646. It's not an ordinary organization. What was the purpose of the Philippine Congress uh, having uh, established this law? Because they want to have an organization that would spread, disseminate the ideals and teachings of the Philippine national hero. And his name is Dr. Jose Pirizal. For, for us to understand why Rizal became the national hero, we have to know the history the political, economic, and social history of the Philippines at the time. So as I told you, it was discovered. The Spaniards are working in the Philippines for almost 400 years. It was discovered in the year 1521. Political and social economic situation in the Philippines at the time was so like this. The Spaniards, unfortunately, the friars oppressed. They did injustice to the Filipino people. They would send people either from Spain or South America. When they go to the Philippines, they become males. Governor Silio. Okay. There is maladministration of justice. For example, someone will come from Spain, a tenant, one who is uh, farming, uh, killing the land for many years, from grandfather to parents to children. Someone will come into the Spain and said, I own this land. And this, these people would say, how did, how did that happen? We have been tilling this land for 20, 40 years, and you're saying that you own this land. Then this person from Spain would say, I have a title that was given by the king of Spain. Kasaba din sa kwento ni Sir Tom Rodriguez kung ano ang pagkakakilala noon ng Amerika sa Pilipinas. In 1902, there was a World's Fair in Missouri. And you know, in the exhibition of the World's Fair, who they sent? The Igorots of Mountain Province. The Igorots used Jesus' fame. It's fierce. And so, when there was a discussion in the United States Congress, whether the Philippines should have self-government. The American people, especially members of the U.S. Congress, thought that the Filipinos are barbarians, savages. And so, Allen Cooper of Wisconsin stood up 
in the U.S. Congress and recited in Spanish the mi ultimo la Dios obrizal, my last prayer, and challenged the U.S. Congressman, you, are you telling me that this man who wrote this law on the just, who spoke 22 languages, the people there are savages, barbarians, members of U.S. Congress changed their minds. Because of reason, the peace, they passed this bill, the Philippine bills of, I think, 2002, establishing that the Philippines would have Congress also, the House of Representatives, and the, the Philippine Senate. Para kay Sir Tom at sa buong organisasyon ng Arizona Night of Rizal, mahalagang maibahagi sa mga kabataan ang mga aral at kasaysayan ng ating pambansang bayani at ang ating mahal na bansang Pilipinas. At that time, he wanted to have a Philippine reform, reform movement because of the oppression that had taken in the Philippines. So he wrote two novels. One is Nolimi Tangere, which means Touch Me Not. Where did Rizal get this title of his book, Touch Me Not? It is in the Gospel of John, when Mary Magdalene was about to touch Jesus. Jesus said, no, touch me. Don't touch me, because I have not yet ascended to my Father in heaven. And that's where he shall get his title of his novel, No Limit Tangere, which is sometimes translated social cancer. Social cancer. Yeah. Okay. In, Rizal wrote these novels so that the people of the Philippines, I, people of the people of the Philippines will open their eyes. Because at that time, although there was oppression, injustice, all they like to know is like fiesta and fiesta. He said, what I have written in these novels are based on facts. I only change the names in that novel. Hello, this is your everyday economist, Alvin Ang. Calling all Filipino senders, send money to your loved ones in the Philippines with no fees. Transfer securely and affordably from your phone to GCash, Cash Pickup, and all major banks in the Philippines. Receive a $20 free credit with SendWave by downloading the app. To enjoy your free credit, use the code PINTIP. Send money to your loved ones with SendWave. Maraming salamat.